Hey guys, so today I will be doing a breakdown of how much I've spent on the car thus far. It's not painted yet and there's still so many more things to come. So this is a rough estimate what it would cost to get your car looking like this. Um, unless you wrap it yourself or whatever, so you don't have to paint it, but I'm going with paint option because it's going to look cleaner. And later down the line, I can still wrap it because wrapping primer is kind of difficult. I mean, people tell me that it's doable, but I feel like it's not going to last long. So I'd rather have uh, nice clean paint and then later just add some livery or stuff like that, which I am going to be doing. But as the car sits right now, I'll tell you exactly how much I've spent. So let's get started. The first thing I bought for this car was Kidney Girls and those were $26 off eBay. It was on the old hood and I don't have them anymore. I sold it with the hood. So 26 bucks kind of wasted, but at the same time, I kind of made my money back by selling the hood. Um, second thing I purchased was the Depot headlights. Depot headlights are super nice. They're OEM quality. I'm pretty sure that's how BMW sells them. And I blacked them out. Blacking them out costed about eight bucks. I did it myself because these headlights, they're like OEM. They open up with just six clips. So those were the headlights. Those were $319. Also off eBay, but they're made by Depot, which is a really good brand. They make a lot of BMW headlights, even for the F30s and I believe F80s. Um, don't quote me on that, but I know they make a lot of good headlights. They're a really good company and I like them a lot. This is probably one of the best mods I have on the car so far. Third thing I bought was the shift knob. Um, it was like 20 bucks off eBay. Uh, it's an AutoZone brand. I don't run it in the car anymore because I have this new uh, M-Style shift knob also off eBay. I paid about eight bucks for this one. It's not the best quality, but it hasn't failed me so far. It hasn't broken or cracked or anything. The leather is still good. Now, the fourth thing is the most obvious thing that I bought for this car was the wide body kit. I got sponsored for this kit, so the price will vary. Um, I know if you're buying it without a sponsorship and no special deal, stuff like that, it's about $3,000 shipped, uh, give or take like 150 bucks you save on shipping. Uh, depending where you live, if you live overseas, it might be a little bit more pricier. But if you live in the United States, it's gonna cost you around 2,800 bucks. I paid with my sponsorship with everything 2000 so super thank you to DTM Fiberworks for hooking me up I love this body kit it's one of the best body kits for this car I'm not a big Pandem guy I do like Pandem on other cars like the FRS uh, three, what else do they have RX-7 stuff like that but for this car not really a big fan I don't like the rivet look on this car so I went with the DTM Fiberworks after I got the white body kit the next thing to do was to get the hood I really want a GTR carbon fiber hood. There's three different hoods that look like the GTR hood. And I wanted the Sabon one just because the grills are much bigger and they look so much better on the car. So I went with that. Usually these hoods run from 1600 to almost two grand. And I was lucky enough to find a brand new one on eBay. A seller was, uh, actually was Sabon selling it. I guess this was their like first batch, the tester. Uh, but it's in great quality, no chipping, no scuffs, no nothing. I paid 450 bucks shipped. So crazy deal. I saved a bunch of money and it's my favorite hood for sure. I love the vest. They're much bigger. Everything looks so much more aggressive. Definitely one of my favorite mods. Then for the interior of the car, I bought FRS seats, BRZ seats, whatever you want to call them. Those were $318. I had to drive all the way up to Lancaster to pick these up. Um, I love them. I like, I love them in the FRS. They were very comfortable and I do want to get actual Recaro seats. I just didn't want to feel like spending the money at the time and the current ones were so heavy and beat up that I just want to get rid of them and getting these for 318 bucks was actually a really good deal because they're pretty good. They hug you, they're comfortable and you really can't complain. So going down the list some more, I bought headers for the car. Those were $95. Uh, they're just eBay headers by Black Horse. They were 95 bucks, but now they're kind of going up in price. They're like around $135. Um, next I did was cooling. So I bought the Mishimoto radiator and thermostat. The radiator was $348 and the thermostat was $65. Um, then I ordered eBay tips, which is one of my favorite tips. They look awesome. Uh, they're quad tips. Those were 70 bucks. And I also ordered the secondary air pump delete, which was the little uh, plug that was $15. So actually it's included with the tips, 70 bucks. I believe the tips were actually 55 bucks, so it was much cheaper. For the interior, I updated the radio. I got the Eon latest edition, I think it was the Eon 10 model. That one has all the apps. It came with an OBD2 sensor that I could uh, basically see all my temps. Uh, I could watch boost if I ever boosted a car. It has a lot of awesome features. 
um, that Eon head unit was $244. Next I ordered was corner lights and side markers. Those in total, also depot, came out to $166. After that I ordered coilovers, they're K-Sport drift coilovers. I also got sponsored by them. I believe they run about $1,400 and then shipped is like close to $1,600. So I got a little bit of a discount. Uh, wheels and tires, I got them off Fitment Industries. Those weren't sponsored or anything. I didn't get any discounts. Those were $1,632. Uh, I painted my whole interior, as you guys know, from that ugly silver to the black. Uh, in total, I spent about 80 bucks on the cans and stuff like that, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I bought the big wing, which you see there, that I'm actually giving away. Not this exact wing, but when we reach 5,000 subscribers, one lucky winner will actually have a copy of this wing. They'll either have the 59 inch or the 69 inch, depending on what they want. That wing, new, was $345. And it's an awesome wing. Only flaws, I don't like the brackets. I kind of wish that the brackets were much smaller. Or a little bit shorter, I mean. Uh, after that, I bought the duckbill, the CSL style duckbill that I molded on the car. That was $95. Uh, buying the Bondo and all that stuff to mold the whole body kit, primer, etc., that was a little bit over $150. So, not too bad to actually mold this car yourself and primer it. Because I did primer it myself, I used the rail cans from Duplicolor and it's holding up really well. I like it a lot because it's one color. Uh, this color kind of became iconic for this car so far. Uh, I kind of wish I could kind of get this color painted, but in gloss, but then I'm thinking like, in the sunlight, it sometimes gives you like a bluish tint and I don't really like that. It's almost like the F80 silver slate or blue, whatever they have. And I'm not really a big fan of that. So color will be coming. I did choose one. I'm going with Actually, I'm not gonna mention what I'm going with. I want you guys to see when it's all finished. So, continuing on. I bought um, <laughs> custom exhaust. So basically the muffler delete, it was about $240 because I took it in a few times. Uh, first, I got the muffler deleted uh, when I still had the stock exhaust. So just the two pipes coming on the left. And after that, I got it redone to the M3 style. So the quad tips. And the last thing I bought for this car was spacers. Uh, the spacers were a hundred bucks. Uh, they kind of messed up so they sent me two different sets of spacers so I have an extra set just laying around that I might use on the F30 if they fit, if the wheels that I get aren't too good. But um, if not I'm gonna sell them, if not I might just keep them just as spares since I'm gonna be drifting the car. Um, that's about it on everything I've bought for the car. Now all the stock parts I had that I've sold um, Headers I sold for $420, so I bought new headers, the Catlets ones for $95, bucks, and then I sold my stock ones for $420. I sold the stock hood for $150, bucks, the stock fenders altogether for $50 bucks to a subscriber. If you're watching this, thanks for buying it, dude. I'm hoping your car's coming along nicely. Um, I sold the stock bumper for $80, bucks. stock seats were $400. Um, stock wheels I haven't sold yet, but I'm thinking of selling it and I'm probably gonna sell them for like maybe 400, 500 bucks. But then again, I'm getting a welded diff very soon. My buddy Vlad M3, he has the purple one that I recorded a few months ago. Uh, he's gonna hook me up with his welded diff. So I might just keep the stock wheels as drift spares because I really wanna slide this car. I've been sliding the dead whip, really fun, but I really wanna slide this thing. This thing is already fully built. Well, not fully built, but this thing is already set up to the point where I can drift it and it will not overheat. So all the cooling stuff has been addressed. Uh, suspension has been addressed. It's super nice. It's perfect stiff, so there's no body roll. And it's, you think it would be too harsh, but it's not. It's actually very nice to daily. And that's about it for this list. So yeah, basically to build this car, if you want to do the same thing, it's not that much. I've spent in total, I didn't even do the math, so I'm just going to put it in the bottom right here right here how much I've spent in total. So not too bad because I'm still making money on the car. I'm still selling the stock parts that I have. I'll be selling more of the interior bits because it is gonna be halfway gutted. I still want it to be a nice um, daily drift car. So half and half, half of it will be gutted, half of it will not I have half a cage. I will still keep the speakers and stuff like that because I do wanna to listen to some music once in a while. But overall the build so far is not that much. And 
after I paint it, after I do everything else, I'm gonna do another uh, how much I've spent video on it and it shouldn't even be that much more. I think I have another, I wanna say two to three thousand dollars left to put in this car, cosmetic wise. And then I'm actually gonna be spending a lot more on the engine swap because as you guys know, this is a drift car. I wanna put a V8 in it. I wanna build it to as close as possible to the E46 GTR. I would love to put an S65 in this, but they're not really that reliable. So I'm actually going with an LS. It's gonna be a, a lot cheaper. Parts are gonna be cheaper if anything does go wrong with it. And overall, it's just the build itself is gonna be much nicer because the LS is gonna run more reliable. It's gonna be much nicer for drifting and it's just gonna be much cooler. I would love an S65, but I just wish it was a little bit more reliable because having basically the whole car BMW and retaining the BMW heart would be awesome, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna throw a Chevy in it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope this helps you basically get an idea how much it's gonna cost you. It could cost you less if you could get parts cheaper, uh, use like the hood and stuff like that, uh, wheels, um, headlights, etc. I still have to get the taillights and the mirrors of the M3 for this car. Overall, I think I've saved a pretty good chunk of money and I'm pretty sure people can save even more if they just buy more used parts, unlike me buying uh, brand new coils, wheels, stuff like that. So you could save a lot of money building your own GTR and it's definitely worth it because I've learned so much with fiberglass and stuff like that. Primering, painting, lowering, cutting, all that stuff with this car that I haven't learned with the FRS when I was doing it. And I kind of wish I finished the FRS, had it painted, added more stuff to it, but I love this project. Doing everything myself definitely taught me a lot. And it feels so much better knowing that I did everything myself. So I know everything that's been done to the car has been basically done with quality. Um, dropping it off a shop that I don't really trust. I don't know what they can do or what they can miss. Like especially a lot of shops when they do the rear uh, fenders, they just cut them and slap the fenders on. They don't even seal it so it would rust. I sealed the hell out of these. I painted them, sealed them multiple times, so these will not rust on me, at least not anytime soon. So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like button, share this with your friends, and remember, if you wanna win this big wing, 69 inch or 59 inch win by energy, subscribe, share this with your friends. The faster we reach 5,000 subscribers, one of you lucky winners will take that home. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.